Your PA Precious Metals web portal will be displayed like this. In order to log in and create a store, you must utilize the username and password you've been provided with. Simply type in your username and password and click Log In. This will direct you to your dashboard. If you've forgotten your login information, utilize the Need Help feature beneath the Login button. Once you have successfully logged into your dashboard, it will look like this. It will be populated with icons that can be used for a variety of functions. The first icon is Create and Manage Store. This button is used when registering a new store owner. When you click Create and Manage a Store, you'll see information related to any stores you've already created or rejected. You'll have access to the store name, address, county, email, phone number, responsible person, and registered employees with access. In order to create a new store, click on the Actions button and select Create Store. As you create each store, you'll need to enter specific required information. Required fields are indicated by a red asterisk. Simply enter the necessary information. For fields that aren't required, you can feel free to enter the data, if you have it, or leave these fields blank. Once you've completed all required fields, just click on the blue Create New Store button at the bottom of the page. Once you have successfully created a new store, an email will be generated to the new licensee. This email will contain important information for the licensee to log into PAPreciousMetals.com website. The green bar at the top of the page is your indication that the email has been sent to the email address associated with the new store. Congratulations, you've successfully enrolled a new store. Click on the green Back to Store Overview button to continue. To verify that you have successfully registered the store, view your managed stores. Should the licensee ever forget his username and password, you can generate a new random password by clicking on the key under the Actions column. Clicking the key will automatically generate a new random password that will be emailed to the licensee. Should there be a reason to disable the user completely, Click the check mark next to the key which will disable the user's account. If you need to enable the account of a disabled user, simply click the red X.